Welcome to this second video on Microfocus's True Web Protocol. In this video, we will cover the script generation process. We will record a simple business flow using an HAR file exported from Chrome and generate a True Web script using offline code generation. Although we use Chrome here, True Web supports HAR files exported from all the major browsers. Let's open the Chrome browser and its developer tool. We don't want to lose network communication when navigating between pages. Let's make sure that the preserve log option is checked. We should also make sure that the browser cache is disabled. Let's verify that the disabled cache checkbox is checked. We will record a simple business flow using the Advantage online shopping site. In order to have all traffic recorded, we need to make sure that the browser has finished downloading the current page entirely before we navigate to the next page. We can do this by observing the Network tab and making sure that all the requests are completed before navigating. Now let's go to the checkout screen. We have now finished recording our business flow. So let's export the business flow network traffic to an HAR file. Now we will generate a true web script from the exported HAR file. Script generation is done using true web offline code generation tool. The true web script is generated under the scripts advantage online folder. Let's see the result. Offline code generation supports different types of filtering via headers, blacklists or whitelists of hosts and file extensions. Let's filter all the fonts out from the script resources. The fonts have the WAF extension. Let's now regenerate the script and check that there are no web request resources with the WAF extension. The code generation log and snapshots can be found under the script CodeGen folder. Thank you for watching this video about generating a script via an HAR file. You're invited to watch our next video, Generating a Script via the Proxy Recorder.